Stop, just stop. Stop spending hours in Canva. Stop fighting with PowerPoint templates. Stop building boring market reports that nobody reads. What if I could told you that 90% of your marketing materials from listing presentations to social media posts could be created for you in under a minute? All right, let's be real. As agents, you're supposed to be expert negotiators, neighborhood experts, and hey, let's face it, part-time therapists. What you are not are graphic designers, and that's okay. And yes, maybe a handful of you are, but I'm gonna get to this. Yet, you spend on average 10 to 15 hours a week creating content if you're doing it yourself. That's time you're not spending on real lead generation. That means the face-to-face -face that we as your team need you to do. So today I'm going to show you how you can take all of that off your plate and either do it under a minute yourself or send it to your team. And even then they can cut down their time. So if you're ready, let's get into it. All right. What I'm welcoming you to is Gamma. And you may have heard this, a lot of people haven't. And if you have heard of it, you might not have acted on it yet. So I'm gonna break it down for you. With Gamma, what they have created here is they have allowed for presentations, social media, documents, everything to be branded and elevated to the next step. So now you can be and look even more professional and polished when you come to the table with a client. So if we get right into this, what are we creating today? Let's go over here and let's go ahead. And you know, I love prompt cowboy. If you haven't seen prompt cowboy, welcome to the world of prompt cowboy. I will also link above what I've uh, a video of what I've created already that goes over this interface of prompt cowboy and the best way to use it. So I'm going to get right into it here. I am a real estate agent in Pueblo West, Colorado. I would like to create a listing presentation that is so beyond what anybody has seen in my market. I want to be sure to include how I'm going to market the property my past year's experience. Let's see, what else do we want to add in here? Um, past experience, uh, what the market trends are right now, a little bit about my team and I, and if you could provide some more suggestions of what I need to do to stand out in a market. All right, so from here, Prompt Cowboy, you all know, is going to take what we just put in, which is considered a lazy prompt, into this great prompt. So just for the point of this video, I'm not going to read through this. What I recommend you do is read through this. Make sure it's exactly what you want. Off to the side here, again, you can go back and you can improve the prompt or copy it and go ahead put it into your chat GPT, paste it in, and then that's where you can make your adjustments. So I'm gonna have it go here. It's going to pull out this full presentation for me. And once it's done, we're going to take that, download it as a PDF, and then we're gonna go back over to Gamma. Again, for the sake of this, I would go through this and I would start tweaking just things that I would like to be adjusted here. Or if you already have your uh, listing presentation, you can go ahead and go in and upload it into Gamma. So Gamma does give you options. We can paste in text. Oops, I'm going to go back over here. And copy this so we can paste in the text or at the very bottom here you can see where you can import files so it is at the bottom if you are importing anything in here click import files and then at the top here again you can go down to the traditional you can go to a tall so a tall presentation again this could be good for social media especially how 
Instagram is indexing in Google. Anyways, tall, you can see here at the top, uh, we can do documents, web page, or social media based on what we've put in here. So I'm just going to show you for this instance presentation because that is what usually takes the longest when we get into PowerPoints, yes. And then down here we can say we want it ger generated strictly from what is our text, but then it's going to add some creative AI magic. It can summarize long text to shorten it down. So if you want a shorter presentation that maybe you send out to them before you get to the uh, listing presentation, or you can preserve the text exactly as you have it written. So just for fun on this demo, I'm going to have it generate from notes so that we can see that we took this above and what it does. So we're going to continue. It's loading up our key points here in the back end. And then this is where we can really start getting creative with it. Again, if maybe you hit generate, but you want to preserve at the top here, you can go ahead and now preserve it. You can say you want, maybe you want a more minimal look or concise. Again, this is where you can start getting really detailed right for, and this is right, home sellers in Pueblo West. That's what I want. I want it to be confident, polished, local authority, and American English. Again, the tone of it, you can get more creative with that. If you are Spanish speaking, you can put it in there. Any language, it is here, so you can go through here. Um, and then visuals, they have a bunch of templates that they've already created. You can hit view more here and you can see all the templates. So if you are just getting started and you're not quite sure what direction, but you know you like, let's just say this bubblegum pink and black is kind of where you're thinking, you can go there. I won't show you everything, but you can <laughs> go through here. Again, you can search at the top or if you have custom ones already created, then you can go in here and uh, hit your uh, custom theme. So that is there. And then again, image source. I want them AI generated. I'm going to blow my, you know, listing presentation and uh, clients off as far as <laughs> just impressing them with what AI can do. So once that's done, you can go ahead again, if there's any optional instructions, like please don't showcase whatever you can fill that in, in your area. And then we're going to go ahead and hit generate. So you can see here, I know I've talked a little bit more, but you can see if you're not talking how quick this presentation can go and how uh, quick this could be. So what else would I use this for besides listing presentations and buying presentations? Well, one, you can customize now each listing presentation, right? You can take your template of a listing presentation, but you can take that and put it into chat GPT and add the specific home that you're going to. That's what I would recommend, right? Really elevate your listing presentation so that it is so tailored to them that they can't help but select you. This image, not so much what I would want because in Pueblo, we don't really necessarily have that high of a building. It's pretty close, but it's not there. So you can always go back in here and do edit and then tell it how it'll edit. Again, it's not going to let me right now just because it's continuing the uh, document. But once this is all built out, and again, you can see how quick this is building this out. I'm not telling it to do these charts. It's knowing that charts are needed. It knew I wanted to schedule consultation or view marketing sample. Again, you can add buttons to this. You can go back now and that took right at a minute to create this whole presentation. Pretty amazing. But then, yeah, you can go in, start fixing. Let's just, let's say we don't want every strategy. Let's just say we, you know, the strategy. You can go in now and it is just a click. I would get rid of the M mark so that it's not necessarily a really big red flag that this is AI. 
but you can go in, you can change colors, you can change the font of it, you can add pictures, you can, you know, remove the pictures. Off to the bar here, or I'm sorry, off to the right here, you will see that there is more of a graphic bar. So it is really fun at this point. And let's say also each theme, maybe you have two themes that you toggle back and forth to. You just go to your theme bar, click the other one, and that quick it has updated the colors of my presentation. So really the back end of this is super fun once you get going. In here you can also create your theme, so you'll see at the top new theme, or back to the home page if we go back there, all your gammas are stored here. You'll see that uh, this was a quick example of how you can create social media posts. So again, I just picked a template and they uh, generated these social media posts for me. And then where was I gonna show you really quick? Oh, your themes, I'm sorry, your themes on the left hand side, you can either edit them after your gamma has been created or before you get started, you can create a new theme in the gamma home. So. With all that being said, welcome to the world of Gamma. I hope that you have so much fun creating in Gamma and please let me know what are you creating with these tools? How is your AI journey going? I love to hear from you. If you have questions, please reach out. Either leave me a comment or go ahead and email me at Alyssa at realimpact-marketing.com and ask your questions there. I love to hear from you. I'd love to help you out on your AI journey and empower you with these great tools. You don't need to be left behind. You were right on time and happy creating.